Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into some really awesome news. Don't know why they decided to publish today with already some incredible stuff with uh, specifically The Office and they dropped some more news, so I don't know. Anyways, Promo Bricks has revealed a couple of sets for Indiana Jones. That's right, the theme is back. It's under a code name called Pineapple, which uh, they've been using fruits and different uh, tropical fruits like that for their code names for themes uh, in the most recent uh, years. Anyways... There's a lot to go through here. So if you didn't know, back in 2008, there were actually some sets launched uh, to coincide with the release of Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, and then also some more in 2009, and the theme went away. So I missed a few sets, and I look back regretting it. We actually did a video talking about that recently, but it's come back because the new movie was actually supposed to release this year, but then it's been pushed back next year. And I believe they're following the same sort of pattern as Avatar, which we'll touch on. So we'll talk first about what's actually been confirmed here by them that's happening. And then we'll touch on what's to come and what I think we could get. First off, set number 77012. This is the fighter plane chase. This is from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It has a total of 387 pieces three minifigures, and it'll be retailing for $34.99 USD, so that'll probably be, actually, I'm not even going to say Canadian prices anymore, I don't know the conversion as of yet, I need to learn it, however, what's interesting about this is they also mentioned the prices could go up, now, this might have been original listings, the price increase, it could go up, this smallest set is uh, so far known as the chase sequence from Indiana Jones 3, The Last Crusade, Indiana Jones and his father, uh, here on the plane and then later in the car by another plane uh, in 2009 the scene was already implemented in th this set here that you see on screen that I've been using however the designers decided to have the two heroes driven in the stolen convertible the car is eight studs wide and should therefore be in good hands in every speed champions collection interesting and then the Pilatus P2 is also included in a revised form. Stud shooters are attached on both wings. The three minifigures included are going to be Indiana Jones with an open jacket and tie, Henry Jones Sr., as well as a fighter pilot included as well. So really awesome. I actually did not pick up that first set. I didn't really have an interest since I had the minifigures. And uh, yeah, cool that they're doing that. That's the smallest set. Just keep them in mind. That's the smallest one. Set number 77013, this is the Escape from the Lost Tomb. This has 600 pieces and it'll be retailing for $39.99 USD, so probably a bit more as well. Anyways, this is, of course, from the very first movie from Indian Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Now, what's interesting about this is we're actually getting a character for the very first time, which I'm happy about. We are getting Sala, and we never got him in any of the original sets. We're also getting in the set Indiana Jones, Marion, Ravenwood, as well as a mummy. It seems to be about 24 studs wide. The new model is similar to the original one from 2008, but the back wall is built in a much more sophisticated way using different stones and does not require large statue and does not require large stickers for the walls. Nevertheless, some stickers for different hieroglyphics are used here. And then relatively simple builds for the statues of Anubis are replaced by two much larger and more detailed ones. And then in the center of the scene is a golden arch under which is the Ark of the Covenant. Now, I feel like maybe there's like the build for the Ark was really simple back then. I feel like Lego can do a lot more. I'm just excited to see how they are going to break open the walls. And if the Star Wars hieroglyphics are not included, I will be very disappointed. But very awesome set. Not sure if I would have picked this to represent Raiders of the Lost Ark, which we'll touch on in a bit. But then we have set number 77014. This is the Temple of Doom. This has 801 pieces. Will be retailing for $79.99 USD. So this set is, of course, from Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom. And it will have Indiana Jones in his outfit with like the shirt open, Willie Scott, short round, Mola Ram, as well as the Maharaja, which we never got in the original set, as well as a thuggy guard. Uh, the set s 
looks to be a lot better than its original predecessor. In the center is the temple raised on a pedestal of gray pieces, which are built with various transparent pieces representing lava. In the background of the pedestal is the large statue of Kali, uh, as well as the skull altar in which three Sankara stones can be placed. These can even be made to glow by a means of a light stone brick in the back. A trap door can be opened in the middle of the platform, just like in the film. From the temple, a small path leads to the left of a gray roller coaster track that runs behind the pedestal and then leads diagonally to the right of the pedestal. Two mine carts can be driven on the rails, and there is also a water tower whose contents can be poured onto the rails. Very cool. It does sound a lot better, especially the statue. Like if there's actually going to be a statue before we just had the head. So really, really excited about that. I did pick up this set because I just wanted like the minifigures spe specifically mull around. Uh, but yeah, that sounds really, really fun and awesome. Then there are five more Indiana Jones sets. And uh, so specifically... They say that there's four of them from each movie. Now, of course, they didn't do a set from Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. We do know that there's another one priced at $149.99 USD. And that one they're suggesting, which makes sense, probably the Temple of the Crystal Skull. However, sometimes with new movies, like their sets are like interspersed with the rest of the theme. So potentially they could be like that could be just a big set from number five and then it comes in another set. I, I don't know, but I feel like that would be really cool. I think that one again, all of them can use updates. But the one I'm sad about is that we didn't have like the first temple scene with the rock and the idol. I feel like that's like the most iconic thing from Indiana Jones, uh, like the entrance. But I'm sure at some point, hopefully they will continue this. This isn't just a one and off theme, I hope for the first year. Anyways, that means that the rest of the sets are set number 77015, that's 151 that I just said, 77016, 77017, 77018, and 77019. So eight sets in total. Very awesome. We don't know when those are going to be releasing. I assume, if I had to guess, they don't say this, but I'm going to assume maybe all those are January or maybe in February or March. And then when we get closer to the movie, the rest of them will release for the summer. That's just probably what I can see them doing. And I'm excited. There seems to be some really cool locations from the new movie that I've seen from set photos, like a train and stuff. Really, really cool. I don't know how they're going to do stuff for sets avoiding Nazis and things like that, you know, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm very excited for these sets. Uh, again, I really hope they continue to remake a bunch of those classic sets. I think that like the minifigures as well need a huge upgrade because they use the weird 2006 to eight style of eyes and faces that we're, we're just not where we are today. So so happy about this pineapple as well as if you missed it the office has been released and i did a video reviewing the sanctum so so much stuff check it all out linked here at the end hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you all have a great day i will see you all in the next one